So this is another video in the series of videos I'm creating for the applications that have been developed for the SDL Open Exchange Developers Competition for Studio 2014. This time I have an interesting application, it's the Google Translate Autosuggest, which takes advantage of the new Autosuggest API that was released with SP1. So to demonstrate this, I've copied this bit of text, just this little bit here, out of this BBC website, um, and I've just put it into a Word document. So it looks like this. To show you where the settings are, because you have nothing to do with this application, other than if you look in the file options and in your order suggest settings, which are here, you have a list of order suggest providers, and you'll see that you'll have an additional one added, which is the Google Translate order suggest provider. You have to do nothing more than just install it, and it's already there and it's activated. So if you don't like it, you can turn it off. If you want to use it, it's ready to go. All you do is you translate. So if I come to this first one, so how many people speak Welsh in Wales? As soon as I type the first letter, actually it looks very much to me as though Google have probably been um, doing something with the text on this when it was translated properly. I guess the BBC is sharing it because I've got the entire translation in the first go. So I could take the first one. There's a, that's a little error there, there shouldn't be an extra space there. I can confirm that one, that's the first sentence done. I could try the second one. And it looks like it's done the second one as well, so I'm, this time I'm just going to ignore that the fact that it's all there just to show you better how it works. So I should just say according to the 2011 census, according to the 2011 census, there was a fall in the number of Welsh speakers in Wales. Simple as that. Quite impressive. All by Google Translate. <laughs> so it perhaps a little a little different to translating with um, Google Translate normally because you haven't got the entire segment being dropped in front of you. You can type what you think the translation is and use it as an aid to speed up your translation. And you can see the responsiveness, responsiveness was pretty good. Um, and that's it. So I hope you like that one. Thank you.